Hello, and today we'll be looking at, this is a biopic of Whitney Houston, it's called I Want to Dance with Somebody. Now, I'm so sorry, sorry, this is very light. Um, I've been um, I've been having some personal issues of mine, so that's why I haven't been online as much as I would like to. But yeah, but hopefully I can figure out, you know, my personal issues, and hopefully there'll be more videos coming out, out soon. Okay, so this video is called I Want to Dance with Somebody. Now, why isn't it called Whitney Houston? I don't, I don't understand. Um, you know, because I don't think people know, I mean, I don't know, do people, would people know the song or the dance was a body? Because that's the name of the song, of course, so I don't know why they couldn't just call it Whitney Houston, because it's about Whitney Houston, it's a, it's a biopic, of course, so, yeah, so hopefully it's not like the Elvis movie, which is a four-hour movie, and not a tearjerker, we'll see, we'll see. If, we'll see, um, if this one is good. You know, I'm not saying anything bad, but biopics of, of famous people are very hard to do these days so hopefully they succeed with Whitney Houston and Whitney Houston is huge like you've got to get everything down to the nail so hopefully they do that but um yes they do another Netflix movie uh based on Marilyn Monroe called Blondie now I'm not sure if that's a biopic or not it doesn't seem like a biopic but um yes so, uh, Whitney Houston, well, she's done more behind the scenes stuff, to be honest with you, with, um, you know, uh, behind the scenes cameras, um, instead of acting. I know she acted in the Cinderella Roger Hamsterdam one. Um, oh, who was that with? I can't remember the, I know who that uh, person is, but I just can't put my finger on it at the moment. But, um, you know, also she directed, I believe she directed the first Tudor Girls movie with Raymond Simone. Um, as well, and also she produced the first, I did not know this, she produced the first Princess of the Diaries of Julia Andrews and, Hef and Halfway, so that's very interesting as well. As for Whitney Houston, I don't know much about Whitney Houston, to be honest with you, so going in, in this with no, with no knowledge of Whitney Houston, I know more about Michael Jackson and Elvis Presley, to be honest with you, because I know a lot of their history and stuff like that, but, um, you know, but I do like, I it, I took this opportunity to look up her songs, because I've heard of her songs, but I've never actually looked at the music video. Like, I know her songs, you know, so I'm on Instagram, if you go on Instagram, um, you know, as well. But, um, you know, she, I think the popular one that most people will know is I want to dance with somebody, um, and she did I'm Every Woman. And um, my favorite one of hers and is um, How Will I Know. That's a really good song. I've actually listened to that song. I, I grew up with a lot of R&B, so I listened to that song a lot um, growing up. And also, I discovered a new song that she could, did, I Have Nothing. That's a beautiful song. I think that's based on a movie called The Bodyguard as well. You know, so I kind of know about her music, but not a lot, lot, you know. But, um, you know, her, you know, when it comes to famous um, parents, you know, some parents are famous, some parents are not. But her mother, Sissy, well, real name's Emily, um, her mother used to be a backup uh, singer. And get this, she was a backup singer for Elvis Presley and Aretha Franklin. That's, that's, wow, that's amazing. Like, her mom was famous, famous. I think she had a solo career as well um, back in the day as well. So that's very interesting. So you're like... Hey, you know, um, when his mum is famous as well. So that's where she got, you know, music from, I guess. So let's take a look at his trailers, shall we? Special guest on the audience tonight, legendary record executive, Mr. Claude Nichols. That's why he's going in life. You start the show tonight, you'll talk about it. Ah, the Stanley Tucci. Yeah. I forgot this is about Bohemian Rhapsody. I haven't seen that movie, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. My dream, sing what I want to sing, be how I want to be. You just be the one as I can. You go for all the Whitney uh, icons. The music isn't black enough. Look, 
I might have just heard the greatest voice of her generation. Oh, wow. Her voice. Oh, my God. Like angels singing. Britney laugh. Um, like I said before, it's very hard to do biopics these days of famous people. It's very hard to do. Um, I think the Elvis movie learned their lesson, you know, about that as well. But we'll see. We'll see if this is a good movie. Like, it's it's by the writers. I forgot to mention, just by the writers of Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, haven't seen Bohemian Rhapsody, but I've heard a lot of good things. I think the actor who played Freddie Mercury got an award, got an Oscar as well. So that's just fantastic. So we'll see if this one is an awards contender. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But um. You know, a lot of things, um, you know, going to be ad-libbed, meaning, like, they did actually happen. Like, most of the Elvis movie stuff actually never, some things happened, some things didn't. But I know some things were a bit more ad-libbed than the Elvis movie, to be honest. But I don't think her mother, um, I don't think her mother was performing or sitting when, uh, when she had a family. I, I don't believe that's true. I think that was a bit ad-libbed, you know, because her mother, I think, I, I was... Um, I researched and I was looking at the Wikipedia and it said that she wanted to focus on her family. So I think that's a bit ad-libbed at moment because I was a bit confused. I'm like, wait, I'm, conf I'm, conf I'm so confused at what's happening. But I don't think her mother was um, singing when, when she had a family. I don't think that's, uh, I don't think that's true, um, you know. But the real question is, why does Whitney and her mother have the same hairstyle? I'm like, I'm sorry. Why do I have the same hairstyle? That's a bit weird. I know Whitney has curlier hair, but her mom doesn't have that hairstyle. So that's a bit weird to put that in there. You're thinking, as for the actress, um, now, I think it's I think it's a newcomer, Naomi Acne. And you're thinking, oh, she doesn't look nothing like Whitney Houston. But, you know, she looks like, for the from the images I've seen on um on the internet, she does look like a lot like Whitney Houston. And, you know, um, it's interesting. So, there are lookalikes out there, but they never go in the direction that we want them to go. So we'll see, we'll see. But I think she looks like Whitney. Like she transforms into Whitney wonderfully. So yeah, it's like the Elvis movie was uh, with Austin Butler. You know, people had a lot of problems with um Elvis. You know, when you look at Austin Butler, you think, oh, he doesn't look like Elvis. You know, from um uh, from the Elvis and Austin Butler as well, if you get a picture of both of them. But, like, you know, he, he transformed into Elvis wonderful, so I'm hoping she'll do the same here. But, yeah, but I like all the iconic uh, Whitney looks we go through. I like the um, first one with the bow and stuff. That's very Whitney, of course. So, yes, and also we get to see a bit of a personal life, like in the trailer, she got married, of course, and it turns out she's pregnant, so obviously so, so obviously, her real life will be tied into this as well, kind of like the Elvis movie did. So, yes, so what do you think? Uh, this is coming out of theaters. I don't know if I'll catch it in theaters, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, you're thinking, is this going to be a tearjerker like the Elvis movie? Because the Elvis movie was really sad. I remember just crying, like, why is it so sad? You know, it's very, um, um, not traumatic, but very, um, emotional. So, I don't know if this one's going to be as emotional as the Elvis movie. We'll see. Although, you know, people, people, um, I like when I was uh, researching Whitney and it said it, apparently she drowned herself in a bathtub. I'm not sure if that's actually true. And people were saying in the comments of my channel, they're like, why did they do, why did they show hours of dying on a toilet? I'm like, why would you say that on live, first of all? And secondly, that's a bit weird. I don't think people want to see their actors die on a toilet or die in a bathroom tub. Thank you very much. So that's a bit weird. So what do you think? Uh, make sure to like, share, subscribe at Miller's Mix Media, of course. And make sure to uh, follow my Instagram and make sure to hit that notification bell to get more updates.